Putin propagandist advances proposal to deploy Russian nuclear weapons in Mexico, threats to U.S. grow. A prominent Russian propagandist has urged Moscow to deploy nuclear-capable ballistic missiles in the Caribbean in response to NATO's deepening involvement in Ukraine and as the Kremlin sends warships on a visit to Cuba. Olga Skabaeva, who has previously acknowledged her aggressive imposition of Kremlin interests, said on her television show that Moscow needs to pose a direct strategic threat to the US to deter NATO support for Kyiv, which in recent weeks has seen Ukraine win new commitments on military aid and permission to use Western weapons within Russian borders. Europeans are probably scared, but Europeans don't decide anything and Americans don't care, Skabayeva said, per a translation posted to X by Ukrainian internal affairs advisor Anton Gerashchenko. Once again, back to the thesis that we need to pose a strategic threat to the US itself, or else nobody really cares, the host said. That means our missiles in Cuba, Mexico and support for all the anti-American proxies around the world, Skabayeva said, and weapons to the Houthis right now. That's the only one of the things that can be done without going to the nuclear stage for a while. Everything else has not been working lately. Moscow is fuming following cascading Western approvals for Kyiv to strike at targets within Russian borders using advanced NATO weapons, a response to Russia's new offensive in the northeastern Kharkiv region, which for some time appeared to threaten a frontline breakthrough. Russia's decision to send four warships, among them the Gorshkov cruiser and the Kazan nuclear-powered submarine, on a visit to Cuba has been interpreted as a response to Western steps in Ukraine. Russia is likely to send combat naval vessels to the Caribbean with potential port calls in Cuba and possibly Venezuela, Pentagon spokesperson Major Charlie Dietz said. Aircraft deployments or flights in the region are also anticipated. These deployments are part of Russia's routine naval operations and pose no direct threat to the United States. Russia deployed thermobaric grenade launchers to Chasov Yar, Ukrainians launched a counter-attack. After finally capturing the ruins of Avdiivka, Russian forces set their sights on another eastern target, the industrial town of Chasov Yar, which had a pre-war population of about 12,000. Now, there are heavy battles there. According to Forbes, Chasov Yar is vulnerable because it is located on the very edge of the contact line west of Bakhmut and is dependent on a canal with two easy crossings. Its easternmost region is even more vulnerable. Chasov Yar should have been easy prey for the Russians, but it became a trap for them with battles of attrition. They achieved significant success, but at a cost of thousands of casualties. Ukrainian losses are significantly less. Russia's strategy in the months-long battle for Chasov Yar is clear. With intense close air support, Russian troops from the 200th Arctic Motorized Rifle Brigade, 299th Air Assault Regiment, 11th Air Assault Brigade and other units attack the canal area to gain a foothold for a direct attack on the center and also attacked the village of Kalinino to put pressure on supply lines in Chasov Yar. The Russians are not good at this tactic, and even the recent deployment of Russian thermobaric multiple launch rocket systems TOS-1 and TOS-2 in the Chasov Yar sector has not significantly changed the balance of power. The 41st Mechanized Brigade, 241st Territorial Defense Brigade and the Presidential Brigade are in control of Chasov Yar, the canal area and Kalinino. In recent days, the Russians managed to briefly push the Ukrainians back into Kalinino, but the Ukrainians counter-attacked despite heavy shelling. The Ukrainian Center for Defense Strategies is pessimistic, in particular regarding the canal area. The enemy will soon capture the canal area in Chasovoy Yar since its advanced units have taken the main position around this part of the city, the center noted. In fact, one of these positions was in Kalinino and Ukrainian counterattacks destroyed it. Apparently, this happened after the center published its battlefield assessment report. Part of the problem for the Russians is that they were counting on a VE day offensive along the Russian-Ukrainian border north of Kharkov to draw Ukrainian units away from the eastern battlefields to weaken defenses around towns like Chasov Yar. But they were replenished in time with American ammunition. The Ukrainians were able to bolster their northern defenses and stop the Russian advance without weakening much of their eastern defenses. Meanwhile, a growing shortage of armored vehicles and the slow disintegration of the Russian military's basic training system forced 
poorly trained Russian troops to storm Ukrainian positions on foot.